Hey guys, how you doing? This is Jose from Localized Business and BounceHouseMarketing.com and I decided to shoot this quick video on the subject of 404 pages and I know some of you guys usually work on your pages. You may add some new products to your website and then down the road you may take them off. But here's the thing, when you take them off, it's going to create a 404 page. I'm sure you guys came across some of those pages where you go there and the page doesn't really exist anymore. And that's fine. Here's the thing, Google doesn't really penalize as far as SEO goes, but when you really look at it, what about customer experience? So if a customer click on a link that belongs to your website and it's not there, how friendly would that be? And especially when Google always get a report back that there's a missing page. Now, of course, she won't penalize you for that, but let's look at the overall picture and let's see really if Google does penalize you or not. Here's the thing, I test on my own site, you know, and I use Google Analytics a lot and Google Webmaster Tools. And although Google say it doesn't really hurt your SEO, but here's the thing, it does hurt you in other areas. So there are two important pages. One is a 301. If the page doesn't no longer exist, then you are going to have the 404 pages. Those are the ones that return back as page not found. Now, it is a quick, easy fix. It is tedious sometimes, and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm doing so you can do it yourself and save some money at the same time. Here's an easy fix. You can just simply go to Google Webmaster Tools. You will log in there, and you're going to see multiple sites that you have. You may have one. All you have to do is click on it. And you want to get familiarized yourself with using Google Webmaster Tools. It's a perfect tool to help you keep track of your site. This is where mostly everything that I do to my SEO stuff I come here and find out what's wrong with the site, what needs to be worked on, crawl errors, uh, you name it, everything's done back here, which is a nice, a nice stepping stone for you to use. All right, so uh, you first you want to go to Google Index, and you want to see what's going on. And I have 44 pages index. You can always go to and see crawl error, and you can see that I have 19 bad 404 pages. And Google is going to give you a whole list of all the ones that are bad. These are all 404 pages. Now, if I want to remove this, I usually put them in a spreadsheet or you could just click here as well. Um, you can hit this button here and then Google is going to give you the option to send it to your Google document or uh, CSV like I've done. It's done. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. I already have it here on XML. So what I want to do is eliminate this page because it no longer exists. So all I have to do is go ahead and uh, right click, copy, minimize this window. And I go back to uh, crawls. Let's go ahead and go to the removed. Here we go. I already left it to already. To create a brand new removal, uh, simply just click here. Right click and paste, continue. It's ready for submission. Okay, that was already been done. Okay, so let's go back to this one. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one here. Let's try this one. Copy. Create the removal. Paste, continue. And that's already been submitted. See, this one says pending, pending, pending. Usually it takes Google about 24 hours before that page is uh, removed from being indexed. And you want to make sure that you have technically no 404s. All right. So uh, you want to create a nice uh, custom experience for your visitors. Let's go ahead and find another one. So we'll delete that one. Click on this one. Copy. Click on the removal, paste, continue, submit request, and that one has been submitted. It's also pending as well. So you want to go down the line and um, you want to erase, uh, eliminate all the 404 as much as possible. You want to return a good website experience for your customers. Again, so if you are adding products to your pages or services and then down the road you decide to eliminate them, Make sure to always go back to Webmaster Tools and let Google know because otherwise Google is going to keep reading that 404 page. It's not good for Google and it's not good for customer experience. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed that quick 4-4 page tutorial, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care, guys.